Welcome back, Seth Bling here. I wanted to try out something new. So this is kind of like a pilot episode for a new series I'm calling Mega Blocks. And in this series, I'm gonna recreate normal Minecraft blocks at 16 to one scale and try and recreate the properties of those blocks in the, in the bigger scale using redstone and, and whatever else. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you three blocks. It's gonna be the crafting table, the hopper and the dispenser. So first, it's the crafting table. Of course, a crafting table has to allow you to craft. How does this one do it? If you come up real close, you'll see uh, it opens up and there's a villager here who has all the crafting recipes. Um, so you can see three sticks and three string makes a bow. You don't even have to worry about forming them in the correct order. And you can see there's a bunch of different crafting recipes here. If I just toss in three iron blocks and four iron, I can get an anvil out of that and pretty cool. And when you leave the crafting table, it closes back up so that it's nice and sealed. I actually kind of like how it looks when the guy pops out. He's got a little slowness, a slowness effect so that he doesn't run out and, <laughs> and leave, leave his home. I want to make sure he, he, he's there to serve anyone who needs to craft. Uh, we can take a little look inside real quick and you can see the redstone. There's not actually that much to it. Just a command block that's a pro proximity detector, and then just some pistons, and, you know, good stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the crafting table. Over here, I'm going to show you the hopper. Next to each of these, I have a uh, kind of a model, but for the hopper, you don't need it so much because it's actually made out of hoppers. <laughs> uh, like a good hopper, basically any hop any item that comes into this hopper is going to be funneled down to the bottom. So if I go ahead and give myself a bunch of oak planks here, and I start sp spraying these down into the hopper, uh, basically anywhere it goes in the hopper, it's going to be funneled down in the correct way. So you see, you know, it kind of landed up here. Those get funneled in towards the center. Those go down and in and then down and over here. And whoops, and they all end up here. So you can see all those oak planks fill right back up into here. It's a pretty simple concept, just, uh, just hoppers all pointed the right direction, and it's got the same dimensions as, <laughs> huh? yeah, pretty good. <laughs> uh, so that's it for the hopper. Last one is the dispenser. So this one works kind of interestingly. You've got the, the dispenser hole here where stuff is dispensed from. Uh, the, way, the way this one works is you toss in an item and it's like a mega dispenser. It starts spewing out that item. So if I toss in an arrow, there we go. It's going to start spewing out arrows. And if I toss in a snowball, it's going to stop spewing out arrows and start spewing out snowballs. And if I toss in an ocelot egg, <laughs> it's going to stop spewing out snowballs and we get kittens. Little kitties. <laughs> So, so many. Oh my god, there's little babies too. I didn't even know that would happen. Huh. I guess when uh, when the dispenser hits uh, an existing cat, maybe that's what spawns the kittens, but they are adorable. I actually just got a foster cat myself. You might even be able to hear, hear her in the background of this video eating her dry food <laughs> right now. Um, and so... I thought I would have some some kitties in my in my video today. Anyway, so this is this is sort of my trial pilot video for this new series, Mega Blocks. Let me know what you think, and if you'd like to see more. Uh, I certainly think there's a lot of room for some cool stuff in this series. That's about it. Thanks for watching.